Okay, welcome back. Next feature I'd like to add is the ability to select different images. Um, so let's add a little button over here. And uh, for the source, we'll allow the camera or your photo album to be used. Unfortunately, in the emulator, the camera is not going to work, but what can you do? You can test it out on a real device. So let's see, let's start with uh, going to our storyboard. Here's our storyboard. We're going to add a new button. Hey, we still got this one here. And I want to place it over on this side. Um, next, I want to give it a style. No, not a style. It's a system item. We want it to be the camera. There's the camera. Okay, so now it looks like a camera. Good stuff. Uh, let's hook it up so that we can actually uh, use it. So I go into our mode here. Uh, view controller, perfect, that's what we want. Okay, we're going to create something that happens when you click on this. So, so I shall call this an action and I'm going to say on camera click and let's connect that okay so what should we do when the camera gets clicked now like I said we want to choose from a couple of different options so let's bring up something called an alert controller uh, that allows us to select options or, or cancel out so yeah let's do that so we'll say let AC equal UI alert controller. Right? Oops. Hey, alert. Come on, I can type. This guy right there. Okay, and we want this one right here where we specify the title and uh, everything else will be basically defaulted. So for title we want something along the lines of choose image because you can choose either kind of image. Um, we don't need a message so I'll just pass in nil and the preferred style is actually dot come on dot action sheet. There we go. Okay, so alert controller dot add action. Okay, what kind of action we're going to add? Well, we're going to add a uh, UI alert action, and there's only really one style. Okay, so what can we do first? Um, well, you might want the camera, right? Um, and we'll leave the style at default. <laughs> Come on, there you go. And for handler, we wanted to call um, ourself and we're going to create a method called show picker. Cool. And let me get rid of the uh, let me get down to one view here since things are getting wide. There we go show picker which we haven't written yet. Hey let's write show picker. Um, funk show picker. Okay, what does the show picker need to do? Well, it needs to bring up a UI, let's call it picker. A picker is a UI image picker controller. There we go. Very nice. 
and when we use the picker we have to tell it who the delegate is. So I'm going to say self and this is going to cause some errors because we haven't implemented the uh, oh not dot self my picker dot delegate Erg. yes equals self of course we could delegate to a different object but we you know this is pretty much this interacts with this view controller so it makes sense to make ourselves the delegate okay and then uh, we want to do we want to present the view controller present view controller there we go so what view controller do we want to present well obviously the picker and we just created animation for sure completion uh, we don't need that so we'll go null nil okay now notice that we have a little error here and it's saying hey what am I not? I need to implement a UI picker controller delegate and a UI navigation controller delegate. Well, that should be easy enough to do. So, UI picker Oh, I need to make that a comma, not a colon. That's why delegate Yes, I love my autocomplete. UI p image picker controller delegate. And what was the other one? UI navigation controller delegate. That sounds right. Okay. So we've basically, uh, it, there's a default implementation for everything. Uh, and we will actually need to add. Uh, a method for you know funk what do we do when an image has been picked so what would that be called probably image picker control oh, that looks right the image picker controller great so this is the callback if we show the picker pick an image this is the callback that gets called um, and at this point we'll want to, if the guy selects an image, we will want to uh, dismiss the view controller and I don't even why they, it's like yeah we always want to animate it but say la vie and uh, I think we can pass in null for our completion Just undo that, completion is nil okay and then what are we going to do? Well, we're going to update the main image. So let's think about that for a second. We've got Becklehead JPEG in here. We don't want to use that directly. I'm going to take that out. So cut. Uh, I'm going to put that up here. So I'm going to go var uh, original image equals I'll just paste that back in and we know that there will always be that hard-coded Beckel head image so that's fine uh, and now we can use original image wherever we used wherever we needed uh, Beckel head before so original image that goes there did we do it more than once yes we did we also need it here so I will say original image okay now great why is it complain oh self haha <laughs> we're in a closure we need to go self Whew. okay now I know we're done a lot so far but there's a couple more things we want to do let's go back one step where were we we were in this image picker controller this is the callback that happens when the guy selects the image so we dismiss the controller 
then we update the original image that we just created. So we go self dot original image equals whatever image they passed back to us. And uh, finally, we need to show uh, it's safer for us to go show original image. There we go. So we'll want to show whatever image is okay. Whatever image they've selected. That looks about right to me. Okay, couple more things. Show picker. Now when we show a picker, um, we actually have to tell it what source type it is. Do we want the picker to pick an image from the camera or from the photo album or what? Now I'd like to pass that in as an argument because we need to call it two different ways. And um, try and remember what it's called. Oh uh, yes, it's a uh, UI image picker source type I think. So I'll go UI or something like that. Image picker image picker what? Image picker controller source type, I bet. There it is, right there, right in front of my eyes. Okay, I knew it was some kind of an image picker source type. Um, right, so let's call this source type. Okay, what do we do with source type? Well, we go to the picker, and it's got something called source type. Huh. Would have been easier if I did this first. I could have just looked it up. Equals the source type. There we go. So the source type that gets passed in is what we're going to use here. Now, uh, suddenly we have a little error here because we haven't passed in the source type. In this case, we want camera to be the source type. So we'll go camera. Nice. Okay. And I think we want two more controllers, two more actions, sorry. So I'm going to copy that and paste and paste. Um, the second one is going to be uh, if the guy selects from an album. I could say library, doesn't matter. Uh, I think album, everyone knows what that is. And let me just go dot and it's called a photo library here. Okay, and the last action is a little different, cancel. You know, we want to make it easy. The guy changes his mind. Right? So, what do we want to do on cancel? Actually, nothing, I think. Handler, if we just say nil, I believe it returns. Come on. Okay. And finally, at the bottom of this method, let's see. Let's go self present view controller, and we want to present our alert controller. And we're going to say, of course, we want that animated, silly. Uh, and once again, we don't need to do anything if he selects nothing. Okay, I know that's a lot to grok, um, but it looks right. Let's give it a go and hope it doesn't blow up. <laughs> now, oh, I have some nice errors here. Ah, I left a placeholder in here because, okay, we have a callback. Um, we have a callback, and I don't need anything for those. Is that legal? Hmm. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I bet you it isn't. I bet you have to see something like action. Okay. Action. You know, we need to. This this closure requires uh, one parameter and we're not using that parameter but that doesn't matter. Um, I th think that's syntactically correct. Let's give it a spin. Okay, And all we're going to try, uh, 
is, well, let's see. Oh, I left a breakpoint in here. Let me just get rid of that breakpoint and let's let it continue. My mistake. Okay, it did come up. Let's first confirm the cancel works. Cancel is working. Next, let's confirm the album works. Album. Now, this is the first time in. It takes a while to initialize. Excellent. And we select an image. I'll take this one. Oh my goodness, and it worked first time. Um, let's just confirm that we can apply a filter. I'm going to do the uh, invert, do the apply, and hey, looks not too bad. Okay, well, thank you for joining me for this one, and uh, we'll bring another one right away. Cheers.